Hello, love. Come on, there are a few coming up. This time it is from the Dorset Brewery. Now, Dorset Brewers Badger Master Stout Coffee Stout. That's a lot to take on, isn't it? Yeah, basically, it is called Badger Master Stout. It is a coffee stout and it's from the Badger Brewers. Established 1777. That's interesting, isn't it? Never heard of these really. Uh, they have their own websites, they must be somewhat legit. Badgerbeers.com. This is a, yeah, a brewery, this. Uh, I'm just having a little bit more because I've never heard of these before, so this is interesting. Um, it says, the tail of the master stoat on the back. A stickler for detail with a discerning palate, turns out the surly stoat has a surprising sweet tooth. Never happy to settle for the second best. He prefers to brew his own thing. We have that in common. Rich and dark with notes of toffee. The recipe for this indulgent coffee style is one of our most guarded, sorry, closely guarded secrets. Best keep it to yourself. Uh, yeah. It's colourful brews, colourful tales. It's like characterful brews, colourful tales. This badger does anything but black and white. Badgerbeers.com, it's a 5.0% stout. But yeah, um, the, the main reason I wanted to review this, uh, I really don't want to give it a bad review. Not that I probably will, I doubt I will. Look at this. Look at what's on the, the label. It's literally a stout in overalls. Pouring out a cup of coffee with a big smile on its face. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Isn't that just adorable? I just love this. I do. Yeah, so uh, don't expect me to be too critical of this one tonight. I'm already kind of biased just because of the label. You know, you've won me over with the, uh, the cute little stunt picture. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have a quick look online about the, uh, the, the badger. Doors through us. Let's see what, what's going on, really. Right. Just. Okay. Only be a wee second, so. Badger. Really? So, yeah. We may as well just get on with the review last tomorrow. By the way, we've got a dog here as well, just in case. She's not licking her fucking ass as much as she was. So, yeah. Let's get out of the bottle show. Oh, by the way, it is for you uh, bottle top enthusiasts. It's uh, another picture of a badger on top. Not a stove for badger. What's the difference? I don't fucking know. So let's get it out, shall we? Put our Dorset badger into Zach Dingle. Gone way too heavy with the head here, but you know what? Let's just leave it to, you know, it's very carbonated, it's got a very dark cream head, almost beige, uh, which is dissipating quite quickly, fortunately, so. Yeah. You know, you know something, right? Yeah, do you want to come on? Yeah. So what's, what's the beer? Just have a look at what's on. Yes, accept, accept, accept. And I over 18, I hope so. See what, what's what's available. I've like got the Master Stout Ale. So the Master Stout Stout. A Hop and Hair Pale Ale. Golden Champion, which is a gold nail. Thirsty Feathers Amber Ale. Cranbourne Poacher Ruby Ale. And some more of it. In fact, I'll try to zoom in. Blanford Fly Gold Nail, which is basically, oh, it's, it's that one, but with more volume, a bit more spicier. That's pretty much it. Is it? Oh, yeah, Golden Glory. Tangle, hang on, there's a Tangle Foot. I've seen that in better smooth ones. Cranbourne Poacher, I've seen that as well. 
So yeah, yeah, he's obviously got a big line, big range going on there. So yeah, on with the review of the Grest enough. So yeah, is that a smell? Now already I can smell a strong smell of wafer, you know, like the ice cream wafers that you get. With an ice cream, obviously. And this is very strong. The scent of it is amazing. So yeah, it smells like a, it's like a, I don't know whether this is roses or quality street, I assume it's quality street, but there's a coffee sweet, a little coffee, a chocolate coffee, little one there. Take a bite out and you smell it. it. Smells like that, but a hint of toffee and a hint of ice cream wafer. So that's interesting. And I can't even, I'll have to take this out because it's lying on the fucking line. <laughs> My headphones are crushed, basically by a dog's ass. So yeah, um, let's... It's just strong smell. I like this smell. So, we know what it looks like. Uh, but, well, we know what it smells like as well. But what about the taste? Uh, will it be... Master Stoat? Or will it be Master Shite? There's only one way to find out. Bottoms up and up your bottoms. Here we go. And normally, I don't normally like. I'm not a huge fan of stouts, but I like the smell of this one. This could be good. Oh, yeah. That is good. Now, I know you're probably going to say, yes, you are a bit biased because of the cute stuff picture. Maybe, but objectively, let's pretend that there's no cute stuff. Let's pretend it's a picture of, like, you know, something that isn't really cute. Like, I don't know, Reg off Coronation Street or something. Just imagine this is Reg off Coronation Street, you know, just like some, like, bald, chubby guy from Manchester with a pair of big, thick Hank Marvin glasses or Dame Edna glasses going on. Just imagine that's him on the front of the bottle. I can be more objective now, can't I? This is good. I mean, the smells, the scents. The taste. I mean, I don't know like coffee, but that little coffee aftertaste is nice. There's a t as soon as you put it in your mouth, it's toffee it. The toffee scent that you get from this hits straight away. The coffee at the end, that hits towards the end. Mm -hmm. My mouth feels good as well. It's bubbling, it's tingling, it's hitting all the right spots. It's leaving an aftertaste. This is strong as fuck. The taste is so strong. It's a 5 percenter. It's not like a big massive stout or whatever that's like gonna blow your head off. But yeah, this is this is good, I like this. And um, you know, obviously would have felt guilty giving her a bad review, but tonight I don't think I have to, because I'm genuinely impressed. Again, I don't really know much about the ADL Dorset Brewers or the Badger Brewers in Dorset. Established 1777, so they've been gone a while. Um, but will I try more of their stuff? Definitely. There's a lot of their stuff. I mean, I want to have a look at the stuff right now that they have. We'll keep going. Is Badger Best Bitter Forum Lager Oh, Outland Milk Stout? Another stout. Ginger Pale Ale Hazy IPA West Coast IPA. It's a fucking lot of stuff. I mean, to be honest, there's fucking loads of shit. And it's good shit. So, yeah, um. Yeah, must admit I genuinely enjoy this. I'll have a look, quick look at some stuff here. It's uh, badgerbeers.com. I'm not being paid by these, but if you want to pay me, I'll take you money. Yeah, I'll take a few more of these as well. Don't even like stout that much, but this one has impressed me. Yeah, so. That <clears throat> concludes tonight's review. Sorry, it's been a bit manic. But uh, I haven't prepared this one at all. Not that I ever prepared them anyway, I just hope for the best. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This one, I don't know. 
it's not for me to say is it nonetheless uh, that concludes tonight's review I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and I have enjoyed this one uh, I'll be signing out take care everyone